Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, I'm ranking the plot of all the NBA teams in a history perspective. So if you're a great plot team, that means you probably won a lot of championships. If you're a bad plot team, that means a lot of bad things happen to you. It's updated, I did one last year, but this is updated because some teams have won since then and things may be a little different. So as you have, these are all the NBA teams here. It has the great plot, good plot, no plot, and bad plot. So let's see together. And for more content like this, make sure to like this video, let's hop right into it. Start off with the Washington Wizards. They have no plot at all. They've had some good times, John Wall, Bradley Beal, cool team but they have done nothing of sort that was of interest the washington bullets maybe they have a championship back in the day but nobody really cared about them 70 championships so we're putting y'all at no plot the golden state warriors they have great plot i have never seen success like that like that plot is so great that compares with like the bulls in the 90s like you see how the things like steph curry the fact that he could just make deep threes and take these ridiculous shots and make them you know, Chris Paul getting injured when they played them, Kawhi Leonard getting injured when they played them, Kyrie Irving getting injured when they played them, Kevin Durant, instead of trying to beat them and joining them, like, applies terror. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's terrible for me. Um, but it was, it was amazing. So, yeah, they, they got a main character. They got a great plot. Uh, Minnesota, I'm putting you on a bad plot. Definitely can change that. Anthony Edwards is a really talented player. So, he can definitely put you in a good position. But, I mean, up to this point, you know, I, I wouldn't even say no plot. I just think, I don't know. I just feel like it's people it's been really tough in minnesota and, you know kevin garnett was losing always in the first round like i'm gonna put you at bad plot but it, it, it's 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 a it could be no plot oklahoma city man i might put you i might put you i'm put you ah, that's tough i'm gonna put you at bad it's not good because y'all haven't won nothing the supersonics did but that was in the 70s that don't matter um i'm gonna put y'all at bad because like the katie westbrook stuff you got good again, and you can definitely leave this. I don't want to put no plot. Maybe I put no plot. I'll put no plot for now. Now nah, I put bad plot. Y'all blew a 3 1 lead and all that. They got bad. Yeah, I'm going to put you at bad plot. Phoenix Suns definitely deserving a bad plot. A lot of teams will be, a lot of the Eastern Conference teams that are bad will be a no plot, and a lot of the Western Conference teams will be in bad plot because you go through a tougher road. And. The Suns, they had Charles Barkley. They lost to Michael Jordan. Steve Nash's Suns, that, that speaks for itself. And then Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, that also speaks for itself. Their plot's atrocious. The San Antonio Spurs have great plot. Very, they're a team that is usually pretty boring, but they get stuff done. They won five championships. Great things have happened to them. Tim Duncan is one of the most, is a great player. I won't say he's underrated. He's just, you know, boring, but did the job. But every 76 of your plot is bad, and I don't count none of them 80 championships. I don't care about it. The plot is simply bad. I mean, Joel Embiid's Philadelphia 76ers and then Allen Iverson 76ers, which, you know, made the finals one time. But after that, what did they do? I mean, yeah, yeah, plot is atrocious. And this, the process era is literally, yeah, it's tough. Houston Rockets, I'm putting y'all at bad plot as well. Don't really care for the 90s. And hey, I'm a Rockets fan. So I hate to say that, but... You know, the, the James Harden era, that was just characterization of bad plot. Trace McGrady and Yao Ming and his injuries and their injuries, that's characterizations of bad plot. So even though I hate putting them there, they have bad plot. Hopefully Shane Goon and Green can do something about that, but I don't know. The West is hard. They might not do anything about that. Uh, Toronto Raptors, I'm putting you like a good plot. Kawhi Leonard came in and gave you that. He gave you that one year and dipped, but that 2019 championship is so significant. If I'm a Raptors fan, I'm replaying that every single year forever because that is a hell of a run, and that was a great win in the finals. Even though KD got hurt, they did their thing, and they got the job done. So I'm putting you on a good plot. I'm putting the Pistons at bad plot. I know, you know, we like, man, the 80s, they won. Ain't nobody care about that or the 2004 one. They, in the last 10 years, or last since 08, they haven't won a playoff series. They have the longest losing streak in the history of american sports when it comes to the playoffs every time they make the playoffs they get swept and in these years they're just bad there's no way you could think that's a good plot team just because of what they did in the 80s with the times that are changing new orleans pelicans i'm putting you at no plot i don't think anybody care about y'all like if y'all lose poorly no one's gonna be like oh my gosh like the pelicans like nobody nobody really gonna care I, you know your plot is pretty it's whatever uh, the Pacers, I also, I think the same thing. I mean, they, they've lost, but it's, to me, when the Pacers lose, it's not like, oh my gosh, the Pacers lost by, they just lose. Like, they just lose and leave. Like, it's, there's nothing there. Never Nuggets, I'm putting y'all at a good plot. Y'all just won the NBA championship. I think last time I did this, I know I didn't put y'all up like this. But y'all won the NBA championship a year ago, and Jokic, one of the smartest players 
in the NBA history. So, you know, having a guy in the second round be that great, I'm putting y'all at good plot. The Brooklyn Nets, I'm putting y'all at bad plot. Every trade y'all make bites y'all in the butt. It literally built the Celtics championship. So I'm putting y'all at bad plot. The Dallas Mavericks, man, I don't know. That's tricky. I'm not, I don't want to put it at bad plot. I don't want to put it, you know, I don't know. That's a good one. I don't think it's no plot. And it's not, I don't think it's bad. They just made the, I'm put y'all at good plot. Live with y'all, one with Dirk, and then y'all just made the finals. I don't really see, I don't know. Like they lost bad in the finals, but I, I don't, I don't see them as a no plot team. They obviously matter. Orlando Magic right now, you can make a case for bad plot, but I'm going to say no plot. They got Paolo. I think Paolo's going to be great for them. I'm going to say no plot. I know they lost um, they stars in the past, but I think they got something with this guy. So I think there's a bright future there. The Lakers, I mean, even though they are in disarray, they won a championship a couple years ago in the decade. And, you know, like they won the most championships and they likely will find a way to get another one. It's the Lakers. They're going to always have great plot. Um, the New York Knicks, I'm putting y'all at bad plot. The plot has been awful for the Knicks. They made a great trade. You got Jalen Brunson. That's helped them a lot. But before that, I mean, it was just rough for the last 20 years. For the last whole, this whole century, it's been rough. So, but y'all bad plot. The Kings will join y'all. The Kings have had atrocious plot. Great culture. These two guys, the Knicks and the Kings, they got great cultures. They just have no plot. Utah Jazz also have bad plot. I mean, the, um, you look at the 90s. I know I said I don't count the 90s, but the way they lose, lost in the 90s was pretty crazy. And ever since then, you know, you can say, well, Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert also, you know, f f good two, it was good teams. They were the one seed at one point. They would win 50 games in the West. They were a 51 team in the West. But couldn't get past the Rockets, lost to the Nuggets, lost to the Mavericks. They didn't have it. Nobody care about the Hornets. Some boys are all bad characters. They, 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 it's Nobody care about that. Um, I'm gonna put y'all at good plot. Y'all made the finals a couple times, won the championship a couple times. I'll put the Heat at good plot. Atlanta Hawks, man, I'm gonna put y'all at no plot. I think, I mean, you could say bad plot, but I don't think no one care about y'all like that. Like, maybe y'all show us something a little more, but I don't, I don't think anyone really says, man, the Atlanta Hawks. Like, yeah, the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm put y'all, I'm put y'all at bad. I think John Morant and his antics, grit and grind was cool, but they always lost. I don't know. I know. Actually, I'm putting that no plot for right now. I, but y'all really like y'all close to this to me. Right now, I'm putting that no plot, but y'all really close to this. This team right here, this team right here. You see this team? Y'all see y'all see this team right here? This team. L A C. This team right here. Which you right at the forefront. Right here. I'm gonna nussle you in right there. The Los Angeles Clippers have the worst plot in the history of basketball period there's not a team that's ever existed that has worse plot than the los angeles clippers and it will be like that forever steve bomber you got a lot to deal with because this plot is atrocious put you right there boston celtics i'm put you on a great plot i could put you on a good plot but y'all just won a championship and then also like y'all have the most championships now and even though you haven't won in a long time just the fact that now you can officially say you have the most championships I think that's enough for you to be like, yeah, we got it. I think that's enough to push you to be great plot. Cleveland Cavaliers, put you on a good plot. Your championship was the most significant ever. Um, LeBron James, 2016, that's the only reason that exists, but I'm put you on a good plot. Chicago Bulls, you know, the thing is, the thing about Chicago Bulls is that their plot was so tro so great. Then their 90s version of this is like the top. Like, I've never seen plot that great in my life. But then you go ever since the 90s and they, they're right here. And I'm just exactly where I'm gonna put them. I honestly, I'm gonna tell you, their plot since the 90s has been so bad. The fact that you can even have plot that bad that erases the glory of the 90s is outstanding. Because the 90s Bulls is outstanding, but the 2000s Bulls, the 2010s Bulls, Derrick Rose getting injured, and the 2020s Bulls, I'm sorry, I'm putting y'all at bad plot. I'm putting the Milwaukee Bucks at good plot. They just won a championship. And having Giannis a mid pick, 15th pick in the draft, be able to do that, it's really dope. Putting the Portland Trailblazers at bad plot. Dame Dalla couldn't get it done at all. Brandon Roy and his injuries. Yeah, that's a tough existence. So I'm putting you, know, you see up there, the great plot teams is the Warriors, the Spurs, the Lakers, and the Celtics. The good plot teams, that's the great plot. The good plot teams, you know, teams that have won championships within recent years. No plot, no one care about those teams. The Grizzlies, you can make a case though. Um, and the bad plot teams, those are teams that man just life does not work for these boys bad things just tend to happen chicago bulls definitely could be in the great plot if you just count the 90s but man 
ever since the 90s bro i don't know it's been so bad it's almost clipper-esque and that level of bad plot might has to put you there so that is my list um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. That helps the algorithm push the video forward and say, you know what? He likes sports. This person likes sports. We're going to make sure other people see this content. So make sure to like the video. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe. And also, I think you'll like this video right here, where I do a tier ranking of all the NBA players and their scripts and their plot. So click the video if you want to see specific NBA players and their scripts and the plot they have. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.